Okay, so today I have some Noodler's Rome Burning Ink. I'm gonna put the cap on it because I don't want it to fly all over the place. And I am at Mariner's Museum Nolan Trail. And there is the museum hanging out over there. And I'm kind of looking at this area right here, which doesn't mean a whole lot because we're just gonna draw what I can see. So let's try this out. There's a little bitty. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and draw some chill. Uh, uh. The terrain kind of goes down because the water is like right underneath here. And there's some sticks sticking up. So we're gonna put those sticks in there and then there's this great big tree. Which is not coming out of the ground here, but it's lower than that. So we're just going to have to bring it up. And then in the distance, <clears throat> in the distance, there is a walking bridge. And apparently today my hand isn't very steady. But that's okay. I just do like this. And then we got the stands or the the pilings that are holding the walking bridge up and the reflection in the water. That's right there. And there's a big tree here. Trees. Trees here. This um, color is kind of brown, and I I absolutely adore it. Let's put some more color on that. Yep, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put some more color on the top of the walking bridge, and then the wood. So the people don't go down in the water because down in the water is turtles. Turtles don't hurt nobody. Turtles don't hurt nobody. Then there's a, there's a highway up there. Lots of grasses. Cars going by. And then lots of trees in the background. And the beauty of it is when you're out plein air painting, you do not have to draw everything you see. What you do need to do is kind of give an idea of what, what it is you see. So we're done with this beautiful pen in my So, and this is some gouache. What's in, in here? That's just a piece that flew at me. Okay, so, and I want this water. squash okay so then we got 
got some litter over here too. Okay, and then this here tree, this tree right here, I'm gonna pan up so you can see this tree right there. That's next. Let's get that tree in there. I'm not sure the color we're gonna be using, but I'm thinking it's gray. So, and I have more gray on my little palette. And by the way, if you ever go into like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or any place that sells um, a flooring or a countertop or whatever, that's what this is. It's a piece of, it's a sample. And it is, in this particular case, it's a Formica sample. And they make awesome to-go palettes. Yes, they do. So in this tree, is, is gray. So we're gonna, Put some in here. I love this this palette, um, this to go palette. It's looking pretty pretty sweet. Now I bought some gray gouache, and I'm not exactly. I don't remember at the moment. I'll put it in the description below what color what color gray it is. But this this tree. So and then we're gonna have to. Um, put some white in this tree and I probably should have waited till it got a little more drier. That's okay. And I don't even know what kind of tree it is. Huh. Well, that's the way it is. Alright, and then we have to have this yellow ochre. And once again, I'm going to dip it into the gouache on my on my palette, my yellow ochre I'm mixing with this. We'll mix some yellow, which is this right here, yellow ochre. And I'll mix it with this yellow gouache because I need to make some grasses. Beyond the the fence uh, and it's kind of you can see the you can see the grass be between the fences too but we'll move that around and then um, and then there's a lot of sand going on down here so we're just gonna bring that in a little bit because we don't want to get too wild with the with our colors This Nolan Trail has uh, paths and it's surrounded by woods, um, uh, sticks, and it just keeps the path separate from the wheat from the woods, is what it does. And then there's some trees in the background. Sorry for the shadow. I am right-handed. That's just the way it is. All right, and there's some trees over here. And we need some beautiful green, so we're going to take sap green. I'm going to get this wet. This sap green. That. And I'm going to mix it with this green, the squash. Background on those 
those trees. Green in the background on those trees. And there's one more thing that I need to do. The water needs to be a little more darker. generic and it's very simple and you know it's, it's fine you uh, make it what you want to make it so we'll put some sticks in there I dip my brush in some red and it come out gray which is so oh, weird. Okay, let's try that green. And the um, one thing we didn't put in there is the beautiful sky. We're just going to put a, a hint of a sky. Because, um, yeah. There isn't much of a sky. Uh, plein air painting. Sometimes I do awesome and sometimes I just do. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I actually, I really, really would rather put some more details in this tree. before I wind up what I'm doing. Um, Cause there is a lot of, um, there's actually a lot of things going on with this tree. And before I leave this area, I am going to take a picture and I am going to repeat this so I can see I can see how, how I change over the years. So I will definitely be doing this one again. I'm gonna bring all these sticks down here. Okay. Thanks for putting up with me and my... Okay, that's really nice. Okay, this is interesting, but I really love this um, palette. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later.